Yes! All right, and welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back here at my house with the one, the only, wait for it. Corey Congelio. That's right. Uh -huh. All soft and... And uh, that all NPR yeah, of you. That's right. <laughs> and today, we're going to learn our page of Fresh air with Fred <laughs> Pompa. <laughs> okay, so I got a major freaking schooling. I mean, and, and you got one of the, the biggest freaking guitar instructors ever here. True Fire Extraordinaire. In your house, you can't let him go without giving you a guitar lesson. So, we were talking arpeggios. Yep. And what to do to spice up a little... Oh, by the way, check all his stuff down below. CoreyCongelio.com. Support him there. That would be awesome. Okay, so anyways, I'll leave the links down there. Description box. Back to where we're doing. Okay, so I was kind of saying, you know, I'm not... I, 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 I want to always run things through my rock filter, and I'm trying to get yeah. out of that. But you were showing me some examples of things that I can do to still retain my own kind of flair, but also expand my vocabulary dramatically. Well, within 10 minutes of you playing these dominant seven arpeggios, yeah. you started to already put your flavor into sure. it. And then I was like, oh, I want to do that too. <laughs> I was, it's, it's this weird thing with guitar players. Right, it's right. Just like, I'm not happy with everything I have. I want some right. of yours yeah, too. Yeah, right, exactly. And then exactly. like, it's it's just maddening. <laughs> it's maddening because it never ends. Okay, so um, dom break down what the what a dominant arpeggio is and how you would use them in a one four five. Let's say an E. Right. So um, if you want to start in the key of E, if we're if we're playing kind of root to root, let's say. No wait. Let me ask you this: Would yeah. this shape work over every chord? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. All right. You can outline Sweet. every chord in the blues that way. So I'll show you two different ways to do it. Um, okay. There's they're they're all over the place, but um, you know if we if we think about our home base pentatonic here, we can kind of go. I already love the sound of that. Okay. So what makes that a dominant? Because we um, <clears throat> we have um, a triad, root, third, fifth. Okay. There's the flat seven note. So it's all the notes in a dominant seven chord. Got it. E, G sharp, B, D, E, G sharp, B, D. I mean, it's almost like mixing major and minor pentatonic. It really is. So yeah. then that's why I always try to tell people that I kind of see it all happening at one time. Okay. And then the cool thing about the arpeggios is what someone always told me was that it's always like it's the best notes to, to use because yeah. they're in the chord. Yeah. You know, and then you can try. They are the target notes. They are the target notes. <laughs> right. right. And you can approach it from root to root. You okay. can approach it from the third, starting from the third, oh, wow. starting from the fifth. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, where, where would it be? There it is. Okay. I don't do too much shredding or yeah. practicing, so it's not. Oh, really you well. shred plenty. Uh, I heard. But it. you could. <laughs> Oh, come on. I don't do too much shredding, but watch this shred. Wait, do it again, because so, it's talking over here. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. But but that's that's the sound of of you know of eighty shred is, right. is arpeggios. Yeah. He was like, do you, do you know any sweep arpeggios? Yeah. Dude? Exactly. You know? well, but actually, for me, it's like blue sweep. Yeah. You know. Um, so you 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 like chromaticize it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, can we break that down. That so, was, wait, was slow, slow, mortal. Ah! <laughs> oh, dude. Some kind of yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what's the stutter, so stutter then, step in your? Okay, so well. But slow. Uh, let me see if I remember it. No, just the idea, the premise. Yeah, so it's it's um, just trying to skate in between those notes because then you have half step. Okay, so you're outlining. So there, I started from the fifth. Uh huh. Then I did that flat five, fourth, third. There's my money mm -hmm. note for the mm -hmm. arpeggio. Then maybe back into oh, it. Nice. There's my flat seven. All those notes are legal. Yeah, so it's 
finding those vehicles yeah. kind of open up that chromaticism. Sure. You know. Okay. And, and I, I, I didn't play much more than just passing tones or chord yeah. tones. Okay. So yeah. what's the what's the other shape? So first of all, let's do this. Let's go down to the A just for practice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Move it up a whole step to B. All right. Now what we can do is here's a good one. Ooh. That's your E. But starting from the fifth string root. Because remember I said that I like to play them in little groupings. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's a, a great place to start right there. Again, so we can start from the third. Mm -hmm. Another trick that jazzers do real quick is they will often teach um, start from the third, but a half step into it. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. All different ways, you know. Okay. So, it. so, um, in a one, four, five, would you just pepper that in over one chord typically, or, or do you do that all the time? I would, I, yeah, it's, it's a toss up. Yeah. I, I would say more of the peppering it in. Okay. Because you don't want to sound like you're kind of painting by numbers all yeah. the time. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Um, but I like it on turnarounds because I like to play those chord, ta chord tones. Arpeggio. Right. Okay. So, get, get, walk through some of those ideas. Yeah. So over the one chord, you're kind of doing. Because I like to hear that major third against yeah. the one chord. Let me, let me, I'll play the, the yeah. actual. Let's do two, it slow. Two. One, two, three, four. Here's my B7. So I did an A to an E there. Yeah. Pentatonic. ways to practice these dominant seven arpeggios okay so you know, it, it works like a glove so and you were na you were nailing it when so we, got... we were jamming what's the shape now don't forget that flat seven there just think about the pentatonic box oh, and, you'll, right. and you'll nail it okay so and then yeah you... what's the high part Is yeah that yep Yep, because you get the E to the G sharp. Yep, so you, your ear wants to go to that third. Yeah, now we're just creating a little better roadmap. Okay, so you're... There you go. Okay. I'll just jam on that one chord. Yeah. <laughs> and what's really cool That's is like you, know, awesome. you take somebody. Everybody's phrasing is kind of like the way they speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and and you like to do that that fourth. Yeah, I love that. 
Yeah. Totally. So that one was like back or something. Yeah, yeah. because you can you can kind of bend to the fifth. Yeah. So you could even bend to the third, you know. Oh, and there's dude, your, there's really, your back, dude, you know. Dude, that's what that was cool. So it's, uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. But now, what if we just kind of get out of shuffleitis? Yeah. And um... All right. Wait, where's that thing you did? Wait, no, where is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, a lot of times, you know, and, and Beck is a good example, too, because lots of times maybe you're playing a song, like a minor type of song, yeah. and and the four chord does that, where it's like a C, like maybe a sharp oh, yeah. five, you know. Yeah. You know, where it's... So a lot of times oh, in those sort of moves, you can play. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. just wherever you see those seven chords come out, and it's only for one bar, mm -hmm. that's a good place, place to kind of jump in and put that arpeggio, arpeggio. because because uh -huh. you don't want to you don't want to change like pentatonics that yeah. won't sound as good um, or or right even. Um, but those the arpeggios are really. Okay, so, it'll really telegraph it. Let's go back to the the rock. Give me give me an example of what you'd play for a rhythm rock that's not shuffle, and then I want to hear what you would do with that in a rock context. Okay, um, so if so, we're give me a basic groove you want um, to play. Freaking mountain, check you out. So I'll kind of force that seventh, you know. I just blow by that and not show that. That was great. I just did the seventh arpeggio. Yeah. Okay, well, I did but I kinda... Wait, wait, so what is that? So so it's that one, it's that fingering that goes like Wait, what was that? Oh, because we're in A, right, right. We're in A. Yeah. Wait, wait. So put that third finger down. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. If you, yeah, if you had that stuff, right? Notice I hadn't even played. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can always go back to that. <laughs> so you're mixing. It's almost like. Almost mixolydian sounding too, huh? Like a yeah, I mean, dominant, so that's yeah. dominant seven. Is that that's what that sounds? Yep. Is? Okay. So what what is it down? So here? yeah, it is that mixo type of type of vibe? Wait, wait. It's wait. the same one you played for E, but down now oh, in A. Already, that's, that's okay. <laughs> there it is. There we go. You right? Yep. Did I just play that harmonic for you? <laughs> Right, so if I'm, let me do it for you. So you, then you're peppering in like a lot of chromatic. A little bit.
And then, uh, where do you go? Yeah. That's killer, That's it, man. man. So yeah. then you can just mix all that, all right. the other stuff yeah. with it. Oh man, yeah, dude. I'm gonna have a heyday with that. Man, you're on it though. <laughs> but the thing is, you're putting your flavor in it, right? And, right. And that's what that's what it's all about. Oh, you know, nice. For sure. Okay, so one more yeah. time, review the two shapes. Yeah. So and A. Let's just so say A. So put A. A's, A's good. So what we'll do is we'll take it here. So that's gonna be root A C sharp E G and then A C sharp E G and then you can finish it off with A the octave there. Okay. And, right. then, I, and then I like this one. They're, again, they're all up the neck. We won't do that right now. But what we'll do is another one to kind of get you out of some jams. Yeah. Which will be here. So similar, similar fingering. Mm -hmm. A C sharp E G A C sharp E G. Okay, flatten it out. Okay. So let me hit that one again. So. Wait. And then we're the G. There you go. And that's that. That's one where I did that. Um. Oh yeah. It's yeah. a little sweet. Dude, wait, wait, wait. Come on. <laughs> Do that. You gotta slow. Uh, uh, no. slow. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to do slow. Yeah, I went. Okay. Okay, so you're just going down there. Dude, that yeah. is bad to the it's bone. Fun. Good for you. All right, all right. So make sure you check his links down below. We're getting, we're getting freaking rock sweeping. You're sweeping the floor, dude. I mean, cleaning out the cobwebs. Who knew we were gonna get into this when I came <laughs> all the way to California? Oh, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. So thank you so much for watching. Again, check his links. Support him at CoreyConGilio.com, and stay tuned for good things to come. We'll see you soon.